Hello everybody. Well, it's like the saying goes, life has its limits and limits have their priorities and priorities have an effect. So let's talk about effect and priorities. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my conclusion, my opinion, that you all have been misled, misunderstood, or you've been looking at stop signs as go signs and you haven't slowed down to catch up with family. This is a sign. 60. Traveling 60 miles an hour, you don't see shit. Walking, you see a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my idea that life is worth more than a few cars on a highway driving at 56 miles an hour or 60 miles an hour going down the road. Truly not a perspective I want to hear. Life is about what you make it. And what you make it makes you who you are. And what you do with it is very enlightening to say. Your idea, your morals, your generosity as they say, is the fabric of what you stand on every day. You're walking your abilities, your understanding, your capabilities are more than just words, they're actions. The act of kindness is not enough to subside from the true nature of the beast. The beast is only one third of one whole life. There's the federal government, there's the state government, but they don't fucking matter. It's your life that matters. Instead of waiting for somebody else to guide you, pick up your own bootstraps and start fucking guiding yourself because they're not gonna help you. No one is a guide to everyone else. People say that it is rude to question the mor morality of life. And I say, it is our job to question every part of our life. From the way we work, to the way we talk, to the way we contact others, to the way we think of life. The actual understanding of this conversation is, is that for every action, every thought, every minute of every day, we take and add a second a minute, five seconds, 2.1 hours to an already extensively long day, ladies and gentlemen. And I beg of you to please, over this holiday season, since, to, since it is the season, to give. Give more than what you want. Donate to somebody. Help somebody else get something that they want. And be respectful. Listen to their stories. Take the time and understand them. Be more human about things. Show kindness and respect and love to your fellow persons. Don't judge. Don't execute them for who they are. Don't look at them with a sad eye and say, you got what you deserve because of what you are. That is not fair. I will tell you that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you to tell you that nothing is for certain and that life has a lot more to offer than what you think. The act of kindness is the act to react to generosity. Generosity is the ability to recognize, report, and understand who you are. No one, and I mean no one, is more understanding than the good Lord above who gives you the power to breathe, the heart of the gold, and the lion to win. You win when you fight. You fight when you believe in something that is so much more than just a talk or a conversation piece. You win when the lights in your eyes, come on and see that everything I do has a purpose. No one 
is more powerful than you. One man can and does make a difference. One man makes all the difference. But how you, how you center that, how you digest all that is up to you. The act of morality, the kindness, respect, and love of people being people is a contrary belief that some will never give and those who do will take every bit of it. Like me. I do not take anything. I give more than I have and I've been like that my whole life. I've been giving, giving, giving till I can't give no more and then I make others have to give because I've helped everybody else out. Now it's time to help themselves. That's why God said, bless them for they are who they are and you cannot judge them for who they are. So you have to pick up some books. So what? You have to look at your life and understand that life is not the same as understanding. The ability, the morality, the constitutional understanding of being who you are gives us an example kind of like this see, see this see all this beautiful sights and sounds and scenery it's what God created God didn't do it because he wanted to God didn't do it because he had to God did it to give us a breath of air to recognize that our body is not of one thing it is of multiple things God gave us the best piece of humanity and he said make it work he said make it work because no one else can no one else can make what you see in front of you work any better than me you or your neighbor or the Karen up the street who thinks she's entitled to everything there is no entitlement in God. There is no entitlement in life that is worth more than this picture, this video. Who you are is who you are. And if they do not respect that, then they're fucking out of their mind. This, right here, and now, is God's country. This is a true definition of a sight you cannot forget. This is a true definition of a sight made by man for the purpose of helping people survive on this earth. Mountains, bridges, everything, housing, people out running. Look at the sight that has been created. The site of mankind's own existence lives right here on earth. So tell me I'm wrong. Tell me that life doesn't exist right before your own very eyes. Tell me that the very fabric of human life is not where I see it before us. It is not about man and woman or woman, man, child. It's about us. It's about us living our lives. It's about us making the best for our lives. It's about us running for the highest treetops, taking on the biggest challenges, and letting movie stars live their rich life while we live a happy life, while we make things happier for each other, while we have the time and the understanding to know that what we want in our life is not exactly what we get in our lives. What we want is money. What we get is family. Family, while prosperous, does not have a cost, does not have an expense. It is us. We are the expense. Stay tuned for part two. Ladies and gentlemen, life is happening. And what you're about to hear is a very solemn confrontation of conversation. Part two coming.